Hello students, in previous session we have discussed about Python basics in which we learn about keywords as well as variables. We understood the need of variable, why do we require it and how to assign some values to a particular variable. All these things we came to know in the previous session. In this session, we will learn about data types and Python basics data type, data types and operators. So, last time when we discussed about the variables, you must have seen I have written x is equal to 5. What does it mean? It means x is a variable. Okay. And 5 is what? It's a value. So, there are two things. One is the variable and another one is value. Each value, each variable must have assigned some value. If it is not assigned, by default it contains some values depending on the type of the variable. So, data type means what kind of data that a particular variable may contain. How much memory that particular variable will occupy. So, all these things will be defined with the help of data type. So, data type is basically defines the map type of memory a variable can hold type of values a variable can hold okay so you can say number one is type of data data type defined the type of data or values okay type of values another thing what the data type defined second thing how much space a variable will occupy? How much memory space? How much memory space? Memory space. Memory space required. Okay. And the third one is what kind of operation, in what kind of operations a variable can participate means the type of operation, type of operations. These three things are defined with the help of, help of data type of course. So now, the type of value, suppose I have written x is equal to 5. So, x is containing an integer kind of value. Here, 5 is an integer value, a complete number. Okay. If I wrote it as 5.0, so now it's a decimal kind of decimal value. It's a decimal value. 5.0 is a decimal value. So, data type of x will become float type. If I wrote x is equal to a, b, c, suppose, in double quotes. In double quotes, I have written a, b, c. So, x is having a string data type. So, there are different data types. A string data type, integer data type, float data type. There are so many different data types. And these data type explain the type of values, the memory space occupied by the variable and the type of operation in which a variable can participate. Suppose, if I want to do x is equal to x plus 1 here, for x is equal to a, b, c, I want to do x is equal to x plus 1. Is it possible in this case? Or you can say what will be the value of? A, P, A, B, C plus 1. You cannot. 
you cannot identify the sum of a one is a string value and another one is integer value so in this case compiler will produce an error okay so here in this case you will get an error message while if i do x is equal to 5 and i wrote x is equal to x plus 1 in this case simply you will get 6 so this we will learn later but initially we are understanding what is data type means data type defines three things one is the type of value another one how much memory space will be occupied by the variable and third one is the type of operation in which a variable can participate okay now uh, basically python supports five data type so the first one number the data types which store numeric values are called python numbers in this case x is equal to 5 is a integer okay so there are three numeric values integer float and complex integer as i told you the complete value float i told you the floating point value or the decimal value and complex number contains imaginary and real portion of a number okay so we will see this in this example also x is equal to 89 means 89 is a complete number and it is assigned to x so x is an integer variable in the similar way if i have written y is equal to 89.6 so y is a floating point variable okay it's a float variable and if i have written z is equal to 23i plus j so 23i plus j it's j z is a complex number variable we are not going into the detail of this so uh, right now it's a complex variable okay so they are in number category in number category there are three one is integer another one float third one is complex is it okay next is a string another one is another data type is a string data type means the sequence of characters or the chain of character these set of characters are represented in single quotes or in double quotes. If we write something in double quotes or in single quotes, that is termed as a string. Suppose I have written a name is equal to Akbar. Now name is what? Name is a variable and Akbar is a value or you can call it a string because it is written in double quotes. So Akbar is a string here. And the data type of name became data type name of name variable becomes a string so a string data type means to write something write a value in double quotes or in single quotes either you may write like this or you may write like this the next data type is list tuple and dictionary we are not going into the details of list tuple and dictionary because right now these are not in your syllabus uh, in class for the classes or the consecutive classes next classes you will learn about list upon and dictionary okay so basically we will stick with the number and string data type is it okay now exercise fill in the blanks they have given now you tell me dash are the reserved words that have special meaning and purposes in last chapter we have discussed about this in last session we have discussed about this reserve words this is keyword what is it keyword key keyword you can say keyword i will not write i will just say oh shit a dash is simply a memory location that is reserved to store some value. It's a variable. One digit is a valid or invalid identifier. It's a invalid identifier because the digit is mm, because the name is started with and num with, with a number. A dash refers to the type of data and associated operations. Data type refers to the type of data and associated operations 
dash dash and dash are supported in python variable naming alphabets numbers and underscore okay so you can say this alphabets numbers and underscore are supported in python variable naming next is now we will learn about the python operators i hope uh, data type you have you must have cleared now now we will learn about operators so operators are what these are the special symbols that perform some operations so operators are symbols that are basically used to perform some operations on operand now the question in mind is what is operand operand may be any variable name or the constant name or any fixed value suppose for example we can understand this in this the values that the operator operates on are called operand this i told you now if i go through this example x is equal to y plus 9 so here x y and 9 these are operands and equal and plus are the operator okay so these plus and equal operators are doing some operations suppose uh, if i have written y plus 9 it means the value of y will be added with the value of uh, added with 9 and assigned to x so there are certain operations are taking place with the help of these operators and these operations are performing per, performed by the operator on operands so operator and operand you are you must have cleared now what is expression expression is the combination of operator and operands so this became an expression because it's a combination of operator and operand so it became an expression okay now, now type of operators python allow us eight types of operators and in this chapter we will discuss about only two types of operators okay so first thing uh, first is the arithmetic operator arithmetic operator is used to apply basic mathematical operations like addition deletion multiplication division you know these are the four basic arithmetic operation uh, these operators require two operand to operate because these are known as binary operator binary means by stands for two so you need two two operands to perform these operations now the name of operator is addition uh, and symbol we use it plus okay so summation of numbers you can do with the help of plus or addition you can do with the help of plus if you write x is equal to 5 plus 6 it simply yield 11 in a similar way subtraction minus x is equal to minus 5 that is 4 multiplication asterisk symbol is termed as Multi uh, multiplication symbol can be used as asterisk okay so it will generate the product of numbers multiplication of numbers if i write x is equal to 3 into 4 so it will give 12 in the similar way for division we use slash and x is equal to 9 upon 3 will yield 3.0 now keep in mind we are we are operate, operating on two integer numbers but the result is in form of floating number okay so whenever we do the division 9 upon 3 9 is integer 3 is integer but the result is in the form of float 3.0 now here comes the modulus operator what is modulus operator modulus operator return the remainder of a given number uh, remainder remainder of an expression so suppose I have given x is equal to 5% 2. So what will happen? 5% 2 means you are dividing 5 by 2. 2 to the 4. 2 to the 4. Remainder is 1. So this will be the result. So remainder will be given by this percent. 
what will be the use of this percent symbol we will come to this later but right now you have to learn what is modulus operator modulus operator is represented with the help of percent and it is basically used to uh, return remainder of, of an expression okay now floor division this this was the division and this is floor division division and floor division there are difference between these two is floor division return the quotient part okay so if if you have written 2 and 5 okay 2 to the 4 remainder is 1 so it will re return quotient okay so it will return this value so the, and it will not generate any kind of decimal value while in case of uh, normal division you will get 2.5 okay but in case of floor division you will get 2 we will do it practically also exponent exponent will return the power of a given number okay so it will given the power uh, it will return the power of a given number suppose you have written 3 double asterisk 3 so it will return 3 into 3 into 3 means 27 okay it has made exponent 3 is to the power 3 so uh, first of all we will do it practically okay so i am doing it now we will do practical of data type and operators so first of all we need to open python program once you open this now i will declare variable d d is equal to 4 now i want to check what will be the data type of d anybody can tell me yes it's a integer how will i sh how will i make sure that it's an integer so i have write a function called type and then d d is the name of variable whenever i do this it will give you the return of that data type which is assi assigned automatically to this variable because of values because i have assigned the value 4 so it is integer type suppose if i do 4.0 what will be the data type you can check it by using type function type d and then you can see it's a float in the similar way if i type d is equal to demo so what will be the type of d we can see it it's type of string so this is about data type now what happens suppose right now the value of d is demo if i do d is equal to d plus 1 what will be the result you will get an error message because the data type of d is right now demo uh, sorry string and you cannot add a string with number this you cannot add a string with number so it's a type mismatch okay suppose if i do this and then i do d is equal to d plus one now we we, we can perform this now print you have not learned about the print function later we will discuss it but print will display the value of this variable so there should not be mismatch of two data type if we are adding so here you can ensure uh, the second point i have given you it defines data type defines the type of operation a variable can perform so you can see here a string is not performing addition operation with a number yeah you even uh, the other way around you can do this if you can get if you add a string with another string that process something different that is not addition that is called concatenation okay so that that we will discuss later right now we have i told you about the data type and the operation in which a data type can participate a variable can participate okay now we i want to tell you about the some 
arithmetic functions we have discussed in the session um, basically i want to plus minus divide multiply that you can do easily suppose there is a variable called a is equal to 9 and there is a variable called b is equal to 3 so if i do a upon a upon b what will you get you will get 3 you got value 3 suppose i do a into 3 a into b what will you get you get 27 so this is multiplication operator this is division operator this is multiplication operator if i do a double asterisk b what will you get it will give you 729 9 into 9 into 9 9 is to the power 3 it means a into b means 9 a double asterisk b means 9 is to the power 3 it will become so the value will become 9 into 9 into 9 so uh, you are getting this now there are two more operator one is the percent operator another one is the floor division that i want to tell you percent operator is basically used to return a return remainder of a given expression give the so five percent two if i do if i do five percent two what will you get you will get remainder what will be the remainder here two to the four remainder is one so you will get one okay in the similar way if i do five double slash two it's a it's not a normal division it's a flow division and in this case you will get the quotient part 2 to the 4 so remainder is 1 but the quotient portion is 2 so you will get 2 here so percent is basically used to get the remainder and double slash also known as floor division operator will be used to get quotient portion if i do 5 divided by 2 then you will get 2.5 so now you have to find out slight variation or the difference between all these operators okay now do the practice of these things rest we will teach in the next session